Hi, welcome to Haven Riverfront Monthly Newsletter. This time is November, holiday season. We're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving with a very special recipe that we're going to have in our regular menu starting next week. We're going to utilize butternut squash. The first thing you do with butternut squash, you're going to check it out that there's not damage on the outside. It looks really nice like this. That means that it's very fresh and it's ready to go. The first thing we're going to utilize is a knife, very sharp knife. Be careful. Cut the edges. Center. Once you do that, you go to the other end and open split. And this is the result. We're going to utilize a spoon. Take all those seeds out. Don't throw out the seeds because you can toast them and utilize it for the soup that we're making it today. And this is the result. Now, when you have that done, you're going to cut it in half. And you're going to create two wedges out of it. When you have the two wedges, we're going to utilize our mise en place. That's very important for you guys. Every time you do a recipe, make sure that you have all your ingredients ready on hand. And that's going to be easier for you. In this case, we're going to utilize some butter, milk, heavy cream, microgreens. Already our shop, butternut squash. We have our condiments. It's going to be brown sugar, salt, uh, cinnamon, and um, uh, nutmeg. We have also some pistachio to put that end nutty touch into it. So once we have these items over here, we're going to add a little bit of the olive oil, a very quick drizzle, not too much. Salt is very important to bring up all those sweet, natural sweet flavors. Nutmeg, brown sugars. and cinnamon that's gonna go to the oven approximately around one hour at 350 once you have that you're gonna cut it in pieces add it in your pot add heavy cream add some milk again we're gonna utilize some of the spices we had before cinnamon salt brown sugar and nutmeg we're gonna leave that simmering around one hour 45 to one hour check it when they're tender they're ready to go into your mixer blend it up and you're gonna finish up with a soup like this it's kind of an emulsion the flavors are gonna get together and it's going to create a really tangy flavor into this dish now now we have all that together when you finish up in the oven it's going to finish up just like this nice and roasted and firm so i'm going to keep my mise en place because we need space of course to finish up the job the total hours involved in this recipe is going to be around one hour and a half and it's super easy you're going to see the final product well presentation everybody at your table in thanksgiving dinner is going to be very impressed by this dish now once you leave that simmering it's ready to go we have our soup right over here i'm going to take this out of the way so you guys can see the final product this is going to be our plate we're going to utilize a black plate so all the colors bright up this dish and it sends us a really a real good message this is holiday season right over here so we're going to utilize our soup of course it's going to be heated up I like to call this an interactive soup because you can surprise your guests by pouring the cream right at the end. We have our butternut squash. Put it right in the corner. We're going to utilize a little bit more 
or this cream. This is when the pistachios come to play. Don't be afraid, that's gonna add great flavors into this dish. Then at the end for a little touch of microgreens. And voila, you have our interactive pumpkin soup with butternut squash. Very easy to do. It only takes one hour and a half, probably one hour and 45 minutes. Remember to have your mise en place ready. It's gonna be easier for you. You're gonna enjoy this time with the family and kids. And remember to visit us. We're open from Monday to Sunday. We're located in Edgewater, New Jersey. And happy holidays.